Hello animal lovers and welcome to our channel. Today we are sharing an incredible story about an unlikely friendship between an elderly woman and a wolf pup in a remote village in Siberia. This heartwarming tale will show you the power of love and the connection we can have with animals. It's a story that will make you believe in the goodness of people and the bonds that can be formed even in the most unlikely of circumstances. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be touched by this amazing story. Let's dive in. In a remote village located in one of the regions of Siberia and Russia, an elderly woman lived on the outskirts all by herself. She had lost all her relatives and the only companion she had was a pet cat. One day, the men of the village went hunting in the forest and stumbled upon a lair with wolf pups. There were three of them in the den and they seemed to be alone. After some patrolling in the area, just a few meters down the forest woods, the hunters saw the body of two wolves lying on the ground. After examining the wolf bodies, the hunters were able to recognize that the dead wolves were the parents of the wolf pups, as they saw that the female wolf had her teats full of milk, due to breastfeeding her pups. The wolf parents must have died just a few hours ago, in an attempt to defend their children, from a wild predator, probably from wild bears in the area. As a result, the hunters decided to take all three of them back to the village. On their way back to the village as they passed by the woman's house, they knew that she was lonely and that she loved animals. They knew that her husband had been a hunter and they used to have dogs, so they decided to leave one wolf pup at her porch. They placed the pup in a small basket and left it outside the woman's porch. The woman went outside and saw the animal. She thought it was a puppy dog and immediately realized that someone had left it there for her to take care of. She decided that she should take him in for some protection and more than that, she lived on the outskirts and if anything happened, he would bark. She took the wolf pup inside her house, and he grew up playful and affectionate, he even liked to play with her cat. She called him Misha and the cub responded to his new name and ran to his mistress. It wasn't until she was in the village store when a woman asked her how her wolf was doing, that she found out that he was not a dog but a wolf. Many people in the village knew that the hunters had left her a wolf pup. Now it all made sense to the woman why the puppy did not bark as a normal dog pup would and why he did not look like a dog. Now that she knew he was a wolf, she could not give him to anyone. For three months she had become attached to him very much and he had already become a part of her family. He lived in her house and in the winter, he often lay on the threshold because it was hot for him in the house. The neighbor's houses were far from her house, there was even a pond between them and from the other sides of her house there was a thick forest everywhere. The woman walked the wolf pup every day and he did not run away. He was an unusually kind predator, when she went to the store and left him alone in the house he did not mess around, he simply waited for his mistress. It was not easy for the woman to feed the wolf because he was growing up and he needed a lot of meat and she could not afford to buy it from her retirement benefits anymore. So, she fed him with any food she had available and gave vitamins that would help him become stronger. The veterinarian of that village was a good person and he helped her to get some vitamins for free. The village was in a state of alert when rumors spread that criminals had escaped from a nearby prison and were suspected to be hiding in the forest. The police issued warnings to the villagers. On one fateful evening, the woman sat at home watching TV, with her pet wolf and cat by her side. Suddenly, she heard a knock on the window. The wolf grew tense, but the woman assumed it was just a neighbor. However, as she opened the door, she was hit on the head, and three criminals broke into her house. But they were shocked to find a real wolf, Misha, staring at them with anger. One of the criminals aimed to shoot Misha, but the wolf quickly rushed at him. The other criminals fled the house and ran into the forest. Misha bit the criminal's hand before leaving him there, ready to chase the others, but he stopped and immediately went to his mistress and started licking her face. The remaining criminal, who was still in the house, shot Misha and attempted to flee, but Misha caught up to him. Just as Misha was about to finish him off, Neighbors who had heard the commotion arrived and stopped him. Without their intervention, it is likely that Misha would have killed the criminal. After the police arrived, the criminal was arrested and it was observed that the wolf was wounded in the hind leg. The local vet said that the bullet went right through his side and prescribed antibiotics. A month later, 
The wolf was again cheerful and playful, but he was already very wary of looking at any stranger. He understood now that humans can be the worst animal, and the woman made sure to always be cautious and keep him safe. The villagers were amazed at the bond that had formed between the woman and the wolf, and they all knew that Misha would always protect her no matter what. The woman loved Misha like her own child, and she always made sure that he had everything he needed. She knew that he was a wild animal with wild instincts, and she understood that he needed to be free, so she would often take him out to the forest and let him roam free. He always came back to her, and she knew that he was grateful for the love and care that she had provided him. Thank you for watching our video about the incredible bond between an elderly woman and a wolf pup in a remote village in Siberia. We hope you enjoyed the story and it made you realize the power of love and the connection we can have with animals. Remember to share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.